Hi there, it's Laura here from iHeart Planners and I'm gonna be updating my important documents binder for my family and I thought I would bring you along and kind of show you what this is and how I have it set up. It's been one of the best things I've ever done for my papers and my peace of mind. If you haven't already, take a minute and hit the subscribe button. We have lots more videos coming your way very soon. Okay, so my important documents binder houses just those vitally important and mostly irreplaceable documents for my whole family. So I have a family tab, one for each member of the family, and I'm gonna be adding a business tab today. And we have things like our marriage certificate, car licenses, birth certificate, social security card, passport, house payoff documents, like those kind of vital documents that you wouldn't want to lose. And what I love about this is that like everything that I really truly need that's irreplaceable is in this one binder. I can keep it in a fire safe location. Um, you know, I could, if I were moving, this is probably what would go with me instead of on the moving truck. And there's just such peace of mind of knowing that I know exactly where my birth certificate is and things like that. Cause there's nothing worse than needing one of those irreplaceable documents and realizing you don't know where you have it filed. And I also love this as opposed to filing. It's just much easier to look through. I don't have to worry about files. It's all self-contained. Now I cannot take credit for this. I first learned about this from my friend Megan who blogs at the homes I have made. She did an entire session on this in our get organized HQ event a couple years ago. I'll leave the links below. You can still get access to it. She has lots of great printables and a whole in-depth session about it, but I made it based on how she, she suggested. And I kind of want to go ahead and make some updates to it now. So the first thing that I'm going to change is she suggested using this like tab. Well, actually, I don't know if she used this tab punch, but I have, I got this like punch to make tabs and these stickers and I made my own tabs as you can see for each member of the family. I've actually decided I do not love these tabs. First of all, they take a long time to make. Like you have to print this out and fold it. It's very, very hard to line them up properly. Like it bugs me a lot that they're not properly lined up. And then I realized I actually want to add some of my most important business and legal documents to the end of this. So I want to add something and it's a big pain. So what I'm going to do today is I am going to be adding these sheet protectors and using this instead of the tabs that I have. And these are extra wide tabs. So I've used page protectors for all of my documents. And I also want to mention, these are not just your regular standard page protectors. They have this lip at the top so that things can't fall out. And the reason that's important is since these are such vital documents, I don't want to risk them falling out if I accidentally pick up the binder upside down or something like that. And these extra wide protectors will stick out past the page protectors. And I'll link to where I got them on Staples. They arrived in just a couple days. So let's go ahead and open these. The first thing to note about these is that on page one, it comes with a ready index. So instead of it, you writing on the tab exactly what it is, instead you write like tab one is this, tab two is this, and so forth. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these where they go, and I'll be writing on tab one as we go. And this is just your standard binder. I didn't get anything special with the binder. I'm actually gonna leave this out to the side so I can be writing on it. I have a pen here, and I'm gonna go ahead and put divider number one in, and then I'll close it back up. And you can see how it sticks out a little bit past the page protector, which is exactly what I'm going for with the extra wide tabs. And then I'm gonna go ahead and write on this index sheet that tab number one is family. Now, if you were really wanted to be neat, you could print these out with your label maker, but I'm not going for this to look super beautiful. It just needs to be functional. And then I'm just gonna remove this family tab because we no longer need that. And it's pretty easy to remove. Then I'm gonna go replace the next one with it, which is the tab for my husband. So tab number two is gonna be for Jason. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that tab in. Close that back up. 
And then I'm gonna write that tab two is Jason. We'll go on to the next tab. I feel better already. This is getting neater and I have a little bit of room to grow if I had any more categories of vital documents that I wanted to add. Number three is myself. Number four is my daughter. So I'll write that here. Okay, number five is my son. And then I'm adding a new one after his for, yep, for um, number six is going to be um, for my business. I mean, if you had multiple businesses, you could probably even do a section for each business. For me, I'm just gonna call it business because that's, hopefully I never open another business. <laughs> I do not think I would have time for that. And then um, I'm gonna go back to the very, very end of where I have all those papers. And at the end, I just have extra page protectors here. And I'm just gonna put that next to in case I ever wanna add something to it rather than having to store them in another location. They go right here and that way I can also flip right to the extra pages if I need to add something to it. I do want to mention when it comes to how I store these documents, I already mentioned that I use these special type of sheet protectors and I will link to these that have a lip at the top. I also tried and I don't actually recommend this. I tried using these like four by six sheet protectors so they're kind of divided and I thought that would be nice for like a small social security card or a passport however they didn't they didn't seal like they didn't have a flap and a passport will easily fly right out so I decided even though it's a waste of space I'm just going to put the passport or the social security card in the full size protector with the lip instead of trying to mess with these so I will probably use these if I actually do a recipe binder or something like that but I do not recommend them for this purpose. All right, now the next thing that I wanna do is I realize I just want a list of everything that's in here and I think that'll also help give you some ideas on what you can include in yours. And because we don't have too many things, I was wondering if it would fit on this paper, um, like beside. I will have to write pretty small, but I think I can make it work. So for family, I'm gonna put um, house, payoff document. So I just like saving any kind of loan payoff documents just so that they, we, we just have easy reference. I just think that's a really good idea. I also have these scanned as well, but just for good measure. And um, I'm even gonna separate it into each house, each state that we've lived in, where we owned a home. And then I know that that's first. The next thing is our um, I'm gonna put vehicle one and vehicle two. So that way, if we you know, sell a vehicle and get another one, we can just replace it. Um, and we'll still have each of our vehicle titles. And then our marriage license, and that's obviously in the family category because it applies to more than one of us. I also, I do scan all of these as well so that if I ever you need to submit a scanned one, I just like having it, having it you know, easily accessible. And then I'm into section two already, which is my husband. And so then he has his birth certificate. If you were really wanted to be clever, you could do uh, kind of color coordinate your pins. But again, this is not like to be super neat for me. I just want, it to be informative and I wanna know at a glance what all I have. So security, then we have his uh, transcript of his. I just thought it would be a good idea to put that in here with that. And that's all we have. Later, if he gets a passport or something like that, I'll be able to add that there. And then moving on to section three, which is my section. And again, just listing out everything that's in there. I would recommend if possible, keeping the same order for everybody. So everyone's gonna have a birth certificate social security card, um, and then passport if they have that. I would also put voter registrations in here. Hmm. Huh. 
I actually think I somehow ended up with two birth certificates for myself. I did not know that until this moment. I, yeah, maybe my mom lost one at one point and asked for another one, but they both look pretty official. Um, so there you go. Um, I'll just keep them both in there. Then I have a special backup codes in my section for certain, like recovering some secure stuff. And then we have um, passports. For whatever reason, I feel compelled to save my old passports, even though they like punch a hole through them. I don't know why. Um, so they're there in case I ever want them. Um, it's really probably totally unnecessary. Um, and then we're moving on to my daughter. So we start with birth certificate. So for my daughter and son, right now, they just have a birth certificate and social security. You know, if they got other stuff, it could easily be added. And I, I do think if I had to expand this a lot, I might end up eventually printing out another index page for myself and like making this neater or more detailed. But for now, this works and I don't see any reason to make it more complicated than it needs to be. And especially because this is not something I reference all the time, it doesn't have to be Pinterest perfect. Okay, and then the last section is the business and I'm gonna let it take up a lot of space because I have a lot of um, things in here. I actually don't even think I need that anymore. Retail merchant certificate. Um, declaration of disillusion in another state. Um, S Corp election. LLC formation in Iowa. By the way, in case anybody wants to know, moving states when you own a business is a huge pain. And I'm probably oversaving in this category. I just like to know that I have it all. Trademark registration. Okay. So this is what the list looks like now that I have it all written out of what's included. Like I said, I'm sure at some point in time, I will decide to go back and type it up and make it look a little bit neater. But for now, I think this is fine. I, I know at a glance what's in here, so I won't, I'm not gonna waste time looking for something that's not there. And um, you'll see the business took up, like I had more documents, so it took up a lot more space and then these two are blank so if ever I had another category I could add those in and I'm just going to put this right in the front and all of my important documents are ready to go. So I hope this important documents binder has helped give you some ideas on how you can keep your vitally important paperwork organized and I will leave links down below to all the different supplies that I use and if you have any questions about how it works for me be sure to leave them in the comments down below.